Hello and welcome to the latest video in this series, Made for 24 Hour Answers, where we look at becoming a better programmer. This time, we're not going to be looking at any particular C or C++ constructs, but instead we're going to be looking at more of a computer science topic and how to implement that within C and C++. We're going to be building on our work that we did last time in structs, and what we're going to do is look at lists and linked lists, which are often a favourite on computer science courses. The concept of a list is to encapsulate a data type which also includes pointers to the next and previous items in a list. So just like a shopping list has items before and after it, a list has a previous item and a next item, if it's a linked list, or for a normal list, just a next item. We're going to look at how to create these in C, as you'll often need to do this kind of work in your programming courses. In more advanced courses, or courses which let you use third-party libraries, you'll find that there is existing code for lists in various standard libraries, and you'll be able to use that. But I think it's good to know how these things work fundamentally, so that's what we're going to be focusing on now. So the first thing we need to do is create our list items. So we'll start with a struct. remember this way of creating structs from last time and we're going to give it some data. Now this data part it's entirely arbitrary here I'm using an integer um, but you can imagine any kind of information any kind of struct or collection of information could be made into a list item and so comprise a list but this is good for our purposes and the next thing we need to do is add the pointer to the next item. So that's what that will be. Um, and quite simply, you can see that you'll have the next item. And when you set up uh, a list item, you'll be able to assign a next, and then to that, another next, and so on. And as you'll see, you'll be able to iterate through lists of items quite simply. So let's go ahead and try using this. So we want a list item, which we'll call A. And we'll say A data is to zero and a dot next just for now we'll say is null but we're going to change that then we'll make another one b b data can be one b dot next is null and finally c data can be two And you'll immediately think, well, we could have made a method here um, which just creates list items for us, and you'd be correct, but in the interest of brevity, skipping that step, um, maybe as a challenge, see if you can get that code working in that way uh, when we're done. So then we want to link our items together. Well, we need to say that the next item for A points to, points to B, and the next item for B is going to point to C. So again, if you're stuck with this, uh, review the topic on pointers, uh, but essentially we've got a pointer in the next, uh, signified by the asterisk here, and we're using and to tell the pointer to point to the struct B. So now, how can we use this? Well, we can make an easy loop. Um, so we'll say, uh, we'll call this I. And we'll set that pointer equal to the position and memory of A. And we'll say continue until, uh, or continue for as long as A is not null. And each time we iterate, set A to uh, A next. Sorry, these should be I. One more reason why in production code uh, you never want to use such meaningless variable names as A and I and so on. And what we'll do is we'll say system dot, sorry, uh, printf uh, item uh, value is, and then uh, this is going to be, um, leave that for a second, this is going to be the i data, and then we'll need a counter. 
will say cnt plus plus. Oops. And so if we run this, there we go. We see item zero value is zero, uh, item one value is one, and so on. Um, perhaps just to make that a bit clearer, we'll make these two, four, six. So, oops, there we go. Um, and obviously, this is a very, very useful way of uh, looping through collections of data. And we can actually go on further. We can make this a double linked list by adding the previous. And we'll say in B now, a.previous. Because we want to initiate. Initialize all of these cleanly so we don't run into any errors, any unexpected behavior. And then we'll say b.previous equals a, b. Uh, sorry, c.previous equals b. So now we could start if we wanted to at c, and we could go backwards using previous, and this should work. We go so item zero in our list is now six and the values go down instead of up as we go from C to B to A. Okay so that's all very well and good. Once we've got this set up uh, we might want uh, a concept of linking. So we can make a function here and we'll call it link and we'll take three pointers to three list items and the first one's going to be linked. So this is the one that we're linking in. Then we want the list item for the next, we'll go for the previous, and then we'll do it for the next list item. So next. Okay. And just adjust that a bit so it's on one line. And what we need to do then is to say the previous item in linked is going to be set to previous. The next item in linked is going to be set to next and then of course we need to change the list items previous and next and we'll say previous next is linked and next previous is linked so if you can imagine sort of a chain of items um, and we're inserting here we need to break the link between these two to insert our new item and that's what we're doing with previous next is linked and next previous is linked we're saying to this item that your next is that and we're saying to this item that your previous is that and then we're setting those here um, as the next and previous for the item we're inserting that should be quite straightforward that should build and now rather than doing all this we can say uh, link oops of course we need to declare this method link here and we will say link um, and what do we want to link? Well here we were linking in B so we'll link B to A and C and that code should did I get those in the right order? Yep. Um, that code should do everything we need in our list rather than those um, can be quite a complex thing to get your head around so just rewind double check if you're having problems um, but now we should see exactly the same output. Uh, sorry, of course these need to be passed in as pointers. And yes, we get the same results as before, 6, 4 and 2. Um, and of course we could link them in another order. We could set C as the previous and the A, so the order of the items would then be C, B, A as opposed to A, B, C. Um, and we'll just get a reversed version of the list so long as we start at the right place and there we go two four and six so relatively straightforward i think um as usual post any questions if you have them um and i'll be glad to get back to you as soon as i can thank you